everyone. Today I want to share with you some pretty exciting news. I uh, recently entered a giveaway on Instagram. It was a giveaway put on by uh, Jennifer from thepolishnook.com. So as the winner of her giveaway, I was able to go on her website and pick three polishes. Jennifer created the Polish Nook for polish lovers so that you could find indie brand polishes in one place, purchase them, and all in one site, kind of want to get it done kind of thing. And as the winner, I got to pick three polishes from her site. So I will show you what I was able to pick up and how much I'm loving them. Okay, first here we have polish from Native War Paints. This was my first Native War Paints polish. I have not purchased from them before, but this was on her website and immediately I fell in love. Not sure, can you guys see that there? It's just beautiful, deep purple with some copper shimmer running through it. Oh, this was gorgeous. Absolutely love this. This was opaque in two coats. I probably could have gotten away with one coat if I would have applied it a little thicker on the first coat. Um, for me, one coaters are polishes that maybe necessarily are not completely opaque in that first coat, but they are very close and they look good. It's kind of a polish that I go to for if I'm in a hurry and I just need to paint something on my nails so that they're not naked and then head out the door and it still looks good. It's not quite perfect, but it still looks really good. So that to me is a one coater. And this, I believe I probably could have got one coat, but for this video, I did do two coats of this. The next two polishes that I picked up from the Polish Nook are from the brand Limby Designs. First one here is this one, and this is called Sherlock the Dragon Slayer. This is a beautiful multi-chrome. Oh, gorgeous. It is an emerald green that shifts from purple to blue to green, and there are small micro glitters that are copper. This applied, first coat applied, Wonderful, a little thin, could still see a little bit of nail line. So I did do two, and on the second coat, it made it completely opaque. That is two coats of Sherlock the Dragon Slayer from Limby Designs. The third polish that I picked up is from Limby Design, and this one is called I Needed a Hug. This polish is gorgeous. It is a gray Crelly base, and there are flakies in here that kind of shift from uh, purple to blue to kind of a golden color. This is absolutely gorgeous. First coat was thin uh, with the second coat, built up fabulous, colors looking great, and I was able to see more of that iridescent kind of shifty glitter in there. And then uh, I did, however, apply three coats just because I wanted to see how that would deepen up the gray base and if it would bring out more of those uh, shimmery glitters in there. So you will see three coats of I Needed a Hug by Limby Designs. Again, I want to thank Jennifer from the Polish Nook uh, for allowing me to pick out three polishes. Uh, this was, to me, was heaven. I am I was so excited to do this. I had such a hard time picking polishes because she has so many beautiful ones on her site. Um, I'll leave the link for Jennifer's The Polish Nook so you guys can go and check it out. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave any comments and suggestions below, and I will see you in the next one. These purple colors lately with any kind of shimmer running through them. I am just, I'm addicted. I can't stop buying them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I can't even see. Can you see? Oh, fabulous. And the third polish that I picked up at the polish neck. I am so sorry. My throat is just, ugh.